lady. I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... I Rough. insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank nice. you. Nice and easy. Thank you both. I'll try not to die from tuberculosis. There you go. Now I remember what it was. Alright. Here goes nothing. Place is surrounded by Marsan. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, it always seems simple God, enough. Marston. <laughs> God damn it, Marston, how many times? We good? Uh, Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Nice and slowly. Oh shit. Okay. I'll follow you up. Okay. Come on up. Oh, do you have a special kind of gun here? Oh, where are you, John? Mr. Marston? You see him? Mm, I ain't sure. Oh, I think I got him. There's a bunch of them, though. That might be John. In front of that barn, just to our right. You see him? There's two guards. Take them out. And let's go get our boy. Uh, okay. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Great. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think those guards were still moving. I'm gonna need a bit of power here. Come on, Arthur! 
Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Gun down, partner. Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Come on, partner. <clears throat> now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's gonna be that easy to get John. Come on, please. So you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, barrels, get out of the way. Goddamn barrels. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Bastard. So many of them up there. Shit. No. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just. Do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Weapon down, Cambreros. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in sound to me. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, oh, sir? Oh, very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Got him! Holy shit! Uh, 
Yeah, I should start running a long time ago. Got him. Okay, go. Yeehaw, partner. All right, got moonshine. We're good. Let's go. More behind us. Find some cover. There'll always be some behind us. God damn it. Come on, we got this. Let's get to the boat, get to the boat. There's the boat, let's go! You always seem to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here, don't look too friendly, we best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move! I'll row, you shoot! You seriously? Let me, you... you're a better shot. Alright, fine, you just Whoa. relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> this Tom, guy's a bit too close. Them can still handle it. Thanks. <laughs> Just went back on the hill. Oh, I'm sorry, I got here too early before my time. Hey, Dad. We made it. Prison break of the year. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. No shit. Let's get out of here. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. Well, it is, John. Years. It is. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're Not good at all. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. 
<laughs> and uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Oh, pretty much. Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Yeehaw. He brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! No, you didn't. John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <laughs> was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And yeah, not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, stupid revenge it's mission. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of idiots. Oh, I can't call my horse. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil. His law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. 
So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Yeah, that, this looks like a very stupid idea. Oh, look, the fog. This is what we needed. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Arthur, you're going to blow our cover. Where are you going? All right, let's get this going. Your hiding's not probably not the best thing. I want thing. to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. And there we go. Noise, Arthur! Noise! Of course they were going to be there, you moron.
Let's go, Dutch. You and your stupid plans. Right in the testes. Where? Why are we going up? Get a move on, Arthur. Arthur, come on. Cornwall's men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. We had enough feet on us before. Now we're gonna be clutched. This is the only way. You'll see. Trust me. Trust you. You sure you got the lungs? Shut the hell up! Here come more! Take them down! Woo! We got him! Get up here, Morgan! It's not start, my folks! You said this wasn't a repair mission! It wasn't! We know what we came for! Those papers! This way! Come on! How dare you? Ooh. Surprise, surprise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, that wasn't good. Why are you shooting at me for? Please don't bring them home with us. Following you, Dutch. Whoa. We all okay? 
Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding now. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are going to need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk, figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. <laughs> New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come <laughs> along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Like always. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding arm with the bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. 
All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Oh, lordy. Another thing we get ourselves into. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Why noise? noise? And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. All right. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. Oh boy. Trust. Trust is a hard thing with you. Oh, I should grab my guns. There's Peta. Oh, please let me grab him. These men, like I said, they'll help us. God damn it. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. I need my guns. My beautiful, beautiful guns. All right. Let's head out. Oh, a little bump in the road. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, boarded. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Oh, no. oh. Damn it, Arthur! What the hell are you doing? God damn it, I wanted to plug my my controller and then I hit the trigger. My bad. My bad. Rope, rope, rope. Why are they why are they two rowing in the other boat and I'm the only one rowing here? This doesn't seem quite fair. Good luck. I'm trying. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Oh, man.
Well, that was a head crack. You mind the horses? I need a smoke. Oh, you guys are useless. You guys are fucking useless. Let's blow it up then. It's a good way to blow up the ship though, huh? I ho silver away! That's a bit quick. God damn it, Dutch. If you if you move the lever Boys forward right to go fast, why don't you just pull it backwards? Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. I'm gonna try. Over here, come on. Is the horse swimming? I had never thought a horse can swim. I'm dumb. I, I should have thought a horse were able to swim. Are we gonna die before we get to? The... My horse, we can make it. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combs. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? We could arrange for. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check out the other. Understand. Thank you, Arthur. Got him.